This one's scheduled for 12. Kovalev, we know what a knockout specialist he has been. He's on a roll. What about him tonight? He's not just a knockout specialist, Kenny. He starts extremely fast in the first round. He jumps on these guys so early. They don't know how to recover, so I hope Cornelius White is very warmed up and uh, ready to get cracking in this first round because Sergey is a very fast starter. He averages less than three rounds per fight, does Kovalev. And he comes out on White early. You know, I think he's the best prospect in the world today. He's a great fighter. He uh, he can punch, but he can box also. He's very, very good. He's just a very tough guy to get a beat on. He's got that unconventional style. He's got power, goes up and down. John David Jackson's got him mixing up that attack, and uh, Cornelius White has got to take him into deep waters, but the problem is it's so tough to get to those deep waters because he's such a good starter. This is an IBF eliminator that has turned into more, as I mentioned earlier, and for more on the implications of the winner of this fight, Let's go to Chris Mannix. Well, guys, Sergey Kovalev is on a collision course for a title shot, but the events of earlier today raised the stakes for this fight considerably. Karo Murat, the number one contender for Bernard Hopkins' IBF title, was forced to withdraw from a scheduled fight next month with a visa issue. I spoke to IBF chairman Lindsey Tucker this afternoon, who told me he will wait to hear exactly what the issue is with Murat, but if Murat cannot fight, then the winner of Kovalev White would become the mandatory challenger for Hopkins, a fight that could take place later this year. All right, thanks for that, Chris. Huge opportunity here for Kovalev and White in the biggest fight of his career. He talked about that yesterday. Yeah, you'll know me, but he didn't have much to say about his strategy in this fight. Yeah, he didn't want to get into too much detail, but, you know, it's a big opportunity for both guys. White has the same opportunity Kovalev has. Nice jab by White there. A nice, stiff, straight jab, but there's talks of the winner being the mandatory to fight Bernard Hopkins. Also, another name being mentioned for Kovalev is Nathan Cleverly, the champion from Wales. So, uh, great opportunity for either guy. The winner comes out with uh, a very big opportunity in his next fight. First things first for Kovalev, trying to take care of business of White. And when you're facing a guy who's 21-0 with 16 knockouts, even though he hasn't faced the opponent caliber that Kovalev has, you have to pay attention to him. He's hurt really bad. He's just... Kovalev already trying to end this in the first round. It's just Kovalev comes from so many angles. You know, Freddie, tell me if I'm wrong. He's such a complete fighter as far as he comes up the middle, he comes around the side, he goes up, he goes down. He's a very strong puncher. It's hard to keep a guy like Kovalev honest. And he sets everything up with the jab. I mean, the thing is, he sets it up. He, he's pretty pitcher perfect. I mean, this guy is a very, very good fighter. And it just looks effortless in there. You forget he's a 175-pound pop fighter. He looks like a welterweight in there, how smooth and fluid he is. And again, you see the effectiveness of the jab. What a great puncher he is. And as John David Jackson has said, punchers are just born. You can't make them. You can work on technique. But guys with big punches like Kovalev, they just come along. And Kovalev going to work. And White is in trouble early trying to hang on. Kovalev has White off balance already in the first round. Strong first for Kovalev. Back live, Kovalev and White. We're looking at action in round one and the effectiveness of Kovalev, who landed 29 of 59 power punches, according to CompuBox, almost 50%. Very, very high averages for a 175-pounder. 59 power punches in one round? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you know, the 75-pound division right now is full of talent. They get some really, really good guys there, and some big, big fights coming up. Do some really, really big names. And Kovalev going to work here on White. With the White has to be careful. With an impressive win here, Kovalev's name has got to be atop that mix. you got names like Lucien Boutte and John Pascal. Andre Ward possibly moving up. Adana, Other names like Cleverly. Uh, Adana Stevenson. Adana Stevenson, who just had a tremendous win over Chad Dawson. Larry Hazard, our expert here, great referee and commissioner. You saw his unofficial scoring. Kovalev there in the first. We have interesting corners as well. John David Jackson, a world champ, trainer of Kovalev, and a world champ trainer of Cornelius White and Frank Tate. Let's go to Chris, who's with him. Frank, how does he keep uh, Sergey's pressure off of him? He got to go out there and box this man and keep the pressure. He got, he's just standing in front of him. We don't want that. That's not how we work. We worked on pressing this guy, bringing it to him. Everybody just stand in front of him, and he throw big bombs. But if you if you keep the pressure on him, you don't give him a chance to throw the right hand. That's what I want Kenny to get back doing. 
A little bit of a cut over his eye there. That an issue for you? No, that's not a problem. It's not a problem. Come on, straight punches. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Chris. 84 Olympic gold medalist went on to be the IBF middleweight champ. He is 5-0 and oh now as the trainer of White. After White's only career loss, he went to the gym in Houston, Texas and sought out Frank Tate. It's just so difficult. You see Cornelius White struggle whenever Sergey Kovalev gets in those rhythms where he's letting go all those punches. Cornelius White doesn't know what to do. He's got to move his head and stay behind that tight guard and his hope for Kovalev to be over with it. You can see Kovalev has already doubled up the punches thrown on White. Yeah, he's just got that great range with his feet. He's very loose, he's relaxed. But one thing Cornelius White did in the beginning of this round, he landed a couple solid jabs, looking to land that right hand. If he's going to have success, he's got to keep it right down the middle. Because he can't stand in front of Kovalev whenever Kovalev is uh, letting go his combinations. They're, uh, they're, they're too complete. And Kovalev, as BJ pointed out, Freddie, is so good with the jab, you wonder when White's going to be able to even get an opening. Yeah, very, very tough. Yeah, but you know, he is one tough guy, though. He's taking some big shots, and he's he's still trying. He's still throwing back. He's trying to land his jab. I mean, he's got the right idea. Just I don't know if he can take the, the, the power. Cornelius White has got that mentality. He's been through a lot of tough things in his life, and, uh, you know, he's showing that type of resolve in this fight tonight. He's hanging it tough against the very talented Kovalev. Nice right hand. Good right hand by Cornelius White. And welcome back. There is Mr. Fight Night, Bryant Jennings. He was on our debut show January a year ago as a replacement. Now he's number three in the world in the IBF heavyweight rankings. And back to live action, Sergey Kovalev and Cornelius White. Kovalev in the red trunks. Power punches through two. Kovalev's thrown 58 compared to six. Landed 58 compared to six on White, although White had his best punch just a tick before the end of that last round, BJ. Yeah, he shot some good punches. You know, he came out the beginning of this third round, landed a nice, stiff, straight jab. He's got to come down the middle if he wants to land on Kovalev. So, you know, White's got to continue to be consistent, look for his openings because he can't match the hand speed and the power of Kovalev. And now he does. He's down. Kovalev has knocked down White. You know, it's just a bad idea to stand in front of Kovalev. Sooner or later, those combinations are going to get through. And when they do, it's devastating. And Kovalev's a great finisher here. Watch real close. He smells blood now. Kovalev trying to move in for the kill. Referee needs to keep Kovalev a real close eye here. down again. Kovalev's second knockdown of White in the round. The only worry Kovalev has is making sure he finds the neutral corner. He's doing everything right. And Cornelius White's in a lot of trouble here, Kenny. The referee needs to keep a real close eye on him. He's got that fighting heart, but the referee's going to need to step in and protect him here, I'm afraid, because Kovalev is too complete of a finisher. Here's Kovalev trying to finish this off in the third. White, can he hang on at all? His legs still aren't under him, so he's going to have to find a way to make it out of this round if he's going to stick around. That's he's it. on the run. Kovalev puts him down again. Fight's over. That's it. That is it. Sergey Kovalev remains undefeated. 19 wins now by way of knockout. Casey takes over from the start of this fight and finally finishes it off in the third. And the power of Sergey Kovalev shows up again today. It showed up in the second round, shows up strongly in the third round. He is a top, top contender for any 175 pounder in the world. Watch out, Nathan Cleverly. <laughs> If not before then, Bernard Hopkins, perhaps. We will see. But either way, White comes in game tonight. But he was just overwhelmed here, Freddie, as you will take us through now, Kovalev, and all three of his knockdowns here in the third round, Freddie. Just, uh, that was a great, great short uh, inside hook. He looked like a jab with the inside hook with power. The second one, working the, see him working the body. and made the head shot come. That's what combinations do. The body shot opens up the, the head shot. Again, the double right hand here, triple right hand. Just looking for that distance, and the hook finally to put, it, put him on his butt for the third time. He is a complete fighter. I mean, he's he's one of my favorite fighters in the world today. And uh, you know, we get another good guy, Jennings, coming up, of course, who impressed me quite a bit. But we've had, we, we get a hell of a show tonight. It's amazing, <laughs> isn't it, to see these guys go from relatively unknown as Bryant Jennings and Sergey Kovalev did just over a year ago. Both men ranked among the top five in the world in various rankings. Kovalev may next have a title shot in the IBF, maybe, against Hopkins. Still things to play out there. And, of course, 
Right now, Bryant Jennings most consider, at least several of the rankings consider what Freddie Rhodes predicted a year ago, that he was the best U.S. heavyweight prospect. He's ranked number three in the world ahead of everybody else in the U.S. in the IBF. I'm not ready to talk about Brian Jennings just yet. Sergey Kovalev just put on a very impressive performance. He got out of there a very tough guy. Cornelius White dispatched of a very highly regarded Cuban, Jordanis Despane. He also beat a couple other very good top rated 175 pounders. And uh, Kovalev just made it look effortless, guys. He really did. As usual, Kovalev taking care of business and doing it quickly. Let's get the official time in that third round and back to Joe. Boxing fans, the time, one minute and 42 seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Sergey Crusher Kovalev. It's easy to see why they call him the Crusher, just pounding Cornelius White, as he has most everyone else, including the former world champion Gabriel Campio, the last time we saw him in January. A surprise to many that he had finished him off in the third round, and he does it here tonight against White. And we look at the punch stats, and it's Kovalev dominating. And there's the total punches. More than double thrown. More than triple landed, 45% connecting on his punches. Talked about the jab, how effective his jab was. About even in that department, maybe a little misleading sometimes the status. Kovalev was able to keep White off balance throughout the night. And then the power punches. Look at that. 74 landed compared to six for White. And White's best power punch possibly was at the end of the round. But that is how dominant Kovalev was tonight. How dominant Kovalev has been in just about every fight as he goes to 21 and 21 0 and 1. And 18 of those wins now by way of knockout. And he's standing by with Chris. Well, Sergey, another win, another.